Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading is the person on your mind, their secret thoughts about you. In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different color and number. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one, the person on your mind, secret thoughts about you. Okay, so looking at the overall energetic connection between you guys, we have boss. So, you know, this could be a boss, they could be your boss, or, you know, be working on their own business. And if it's none of that, it's just saying that this person owns who they are, and they own who, where they're going in life, and they're a confident person. Okay, we also have a competitive vibe. So sometimes you two have a bit of a competitive vibe between each other. I'm also getting that, you know, along with that, it's like the fire element is coming through. So when you guys are on point, your chemistry's on point, but you know, sometimes there is a bit of this underlying competitiveness between you guys. So you definitely have this feisty, flirty type of energy between you two. Okay, so let's dive even deeper. We have, you're not going to hear from me anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so this definitely matches the fiery vibe that I was picking up on from this person. They are a blunt, tell it like it is type of person. And even though they're saying that, that doesn't mean that you're not going to hear from them, but that's what they're declaring as of right now. Okay, like they're making a point. Because then they say, I love this connection I have with you. And that's what you guys are picking up on, even if they're being distant right now. I love seeing you, talking to you, and being near you. Yeah, this person can't get enough of you. Okay, so they're actually telling you to trust in the unfolding of this, okay? So things aren't always as they appear, and for whatever reason, they're acting like a bit of time apart would be good for you two, and then to come back and, you know, do things more mindfully. They say, I hold on to this hope that someday you two will be together. No matter how hard I try, I can't move on from you. Okay, and that's me spilling the tea on this person because I'm not sure that they would ever admit it to you. Even though I feel like you guys are catching on. I know we need to talk, but I'm trying to get clear first. Right, and that's what that bit of distance and space is. But even though, you know, they might be declaring having some time apart, they're like, I want you, okay? And as I was looking at that card, I even felt like they were saying, like, I want to see you. I watch you from a fake account, okay? So this message is going to go for those of you who have social media. Maybe you have blocked this person or unfriended them, something like that. They're trying to see what you're up to. They're keeping tabs on you. No one is you. Yeah, they think you guys are a gem. You're unique and one of a kind, and so is this connection. And no one makes them feel the way you do. They say they want a chance with you. When you're around, no one else exists. Yeah, this person's got it bad for you, whether they admit it or not. The best times of my life are with you. Yeah, and they replay memories over in their mind. Reliving their best moments. There is so much I want to say to you. Yeah, so the next time you, all, you both see each other, I feel like you two are going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. No one makes me feel the way you do. That's exactly what I was picking up on. Pursuing you right now feels risky because it's so new. It does, but, you know, this person's realizing, though, they're going to have to take a leap of faith if this is what they want. There could also be a part of them that's kind of, you know, staying back, seeing if you'll come forward. But, you know, they're aware enough to realize that you may or may not, you know? I know you have a hard time trusting right now. But what they're trying to say with that is that you can trust them regardless of how things look right now, okay? So check in with that one if you trust that or not, okay? Like overall, it seems like this person's intentions are pure. They just have a lot going on. And there could possibly be an obstacle that you both are aware of right now and they're trying to deal with it. But, you know, always check in, see what resonates. 
I think about you all the time. Yeah, you're definitely the main person that's on their mind and who they want to pursue. I want to see you. That's exactly what I was picking up on. So even though they're declaring this time away and they want to get clarity, it's like they want nothing more though than to see you and really pursue this connection. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me. That information is right here. Also, if you'd like discounts on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Also, you are now able to purchase any video from my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, so the person on your mind's secret thoughts about you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the overall energetic connection between you guys. Okay, so this person is coming across as being very bold with spontaneous type of energy. Okay, so I'm feeling like it's like fire sign vibes, but it could be any sign, but that's like energetically how they're coming across. Okay, we also have intelligent. Although I do feel like this person is intelligent, as soon as I tapped into that card, they are saying that they find you guys to be intelligent, okay? So they admire your intelligence, conversations that you two have had, if you've had any. But either way, whether you have or you haven't, whatever this person knows of you, they find you to be intelligent. Okay, so let's dive even deeper. They say, I have never felt this way about anyone. Okay, so they find this connection that they have with you to be unique and one of a kind and they don't feel this way with anybody else. So they definitely want to explore it. They say you give me butterflies. Okay, this person is crushing. They are falling for you. They're like, I'm addicted to you. Yeah, I mean, take that lightly. I'm not getting like any serious vibes from that. Their point is they're crushing on you. They have feelings about you. They're definitely daydreaming about you two. Your next interaction and what you two could be. I want to be your everything. Okay, so their mind's made up. This is a crystal clear cut energy coming through, which is refreshing. They say, I've got it bad for you. Yeah, okay, so love songs remind them of you, you know can be dreaming about you. I feel so connected to you even when we're not together. That's what I was picking up on, like a 5D type of connection. You two, you know, you could hear a song and then maybe you hear from them, dream about them, you know, happen to run into them, stuff like that. You're the one I want. They are, they're definitely like, their mind's made up. Then we will meet again someday, okay? So this is a bit like, them saying like, I know it's not practical for you and I to be together right now, but I do feel like if we're meant to be, we will be together sometime in the future. We've got amazing chemistry. So any interaction that you've, you have had with this person, they're like, wow, like it's the most fun. It's just so like magnetic. There's a definite spark between you guys. Like this magnetic pool. Okay, then we have this is risky. Okay, so this is where it starts to change a little bit and that could be why they're thinking as much as they want you. They're like, this isn't practical, but I do think down the line someday we'll be together. And then they say I would low key risk it all. Even though this is risky and may not be practical right now, they're still saying they would risk it all. You are a bright spot in my life. Yeah, you guys are like a lighthouse to this person. Definitely a bright symbol. They're like, you're constantly on my mind. And then we have, this is why I back off. Okay, so it's possible this person does feel like, you know, these emotions are intense and for balance, they might back off a bit. Here I am, rock you like a hurricane. <laughs> okay, that's the kind of energy they bring. You're a very passionate person. They say, I wanna kiss you. But then they're also saying, but that's only going to confuse and complicate things, okay? With whatever's going on in their current situation, that's what they feel and that's also why they back off. Okay, so they are seeing who's giving you attention on social media. Interesting. 
Oh, then we've got liquid courage. So this person, you know, they might a little bit to drink to get up the courage to talk to you. I don't feel like this person really needs courage to talk to you because like we, like I said in the beginning, they definitely have that bold, spontaneous type of fiery energy. But, you know, you might like to drink though. And then they say, I still have hope for us. So despite whatever is currently making them feel like this connection might not be practical, they still feel like you two could be meant to be, but it might just happen down the line. Okay guys, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me, that information is right here. Also, if you'd like discounts on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. You are also now able to purchase any video from my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, so the person, person who's on your mind, their secret thoughts about you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the overall energetic connection between you guys. Okay, so we have Aries. So it's possible you or them are an Aries in chemistry. Okay, so it's showing that you two have this magnetic chemistry, a spark, a magnetic pull. Okay, what I'm also getting with the Aries is this person could be like an Aries, or you could be. Somebody who's blunt, speaks their mind, spontaneous, and a passionate person. Okay, so let's dive even deeper. They say, this connection is what I want. Okay, so they're starting off like their mind is made up. No one makes me feel the way you do. And that's why, because no one makes them feel the way that you do. So they find you and this connection to be a gem, unique and one of a kind. They say, what's a king without his queen, okay? And apply that how that works for you. But their point is they do feel like they have so much amazingness going on in life. But the one thing that's missing is you, like a romantic partner, and you're the one that they want. I hope you haven't moved on. Am I the one you want? Okay, so when I see a question early on in the reading that tells me this person isn't messing around, they want to know. You know, they're putting it out on the table, so to speak, and they think, like, you both need to get real and decide what it is that you want and then communicate that. I couldn't forget you even if I tried. Okay, so you guys have left an amazing impression on this person, so no matter how much time and distance is between you guys, it's like you're the one that their mind keeps going back to. You make any moment feel fun. Yeah, like the best times of their life are with you. Then they say, I'm sorry, but I can't be with you. And that means like right now for some reason, even though I'm seeing that their heart is with you. And they say you seem happy without me. So this could be a case of, you know, one minute they feel optimistic about this connection, their mind's made up, they wanna pursue you, you know, they feel good, confident, and then all of a sudden they might get into their head, which, you know, this doubt and fear creeps in, and then it's like they psych themselves out of this connection. But they say, I still wonder what we could have been. You're the one I think about before I fall asleep. I keep seeing you in my dreams. So they definitely have this connection with you on the dream level. Like they say, they think about you before they fall asleep. They think about you before they wake up or <laughs> when they wake up, you know, like, yeah, you're definitely like that first and last person they think about. So the person that they really want to pursue when they say, try to see things from my point of view. Okay. So this person could be going through something and they want you to have some kind of an understanding. Not think that, well, if they were interested, you know, they would already be pursuing you or whatever. They want you to know that there's a bigger picture going on and to trust in the unfolding of this. I miss you. Don't think that I don't care because I do. Okay, so again, that's telling you that there's a bigger picture going on and try not to judge it. Just because this connection isn't unfolding the way you think it should doesn't mean that they don't care. 
In fact, they say, I want to move forward with you. And then we have bold flex with that. So that means like when you guys least expect it, this person is going to do something bold and spontaneous to move this connection forward. And it literally could be, like I said, when you least expect it. Because their intention, regardless of what is or isn't happening, is that they do want to move forward with you. And then they want to know, do you feel the same? Okay guys, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me. That information is right here. Also, if you would like discounts on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Also, you are now able to purchase any video from my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys.